1864 began, the outlook was grim for Confederate President Jefferson Davis and his generals. The encouraging victories in 1864 at Chancellorsville, Virginia, and Chickamauga, Georgia, were diminished by the repulse of General Robert E. Lee's Army of Northern Virginia at Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, and by the fall of Vicksburg, Mississippi. The signs were clear that the Confederacy had lost the strategic initiative. Davis now had to conserve Southern resources to fight a defensive war. He had to hope that either Union defeats in 1864 would bring the North to the negotiating table, or that a war-weary Northern electorate would oust President Abraham Lincoln from office in November and replace him with someone willing to make peace. On the other hand, the strategic outlook for the Union in 1864 was promising. The previous year had ended on a positive note. The Federal Army of the Potomac had fended off Lee's northern invasion and forced the rebels to retreat to central Virginia. In the Western Theater, three Federal armies coordinated by Major General Ulysses S. Grant had won a signal victory at Chattanooga, Tennessee in November 1863 and were pressing toward the Confederate Industrial and Rail Center at Atlanta, Georgia. Impressed by Grant's aggressive command style and success, Lincoln brought him to Washington in early March 1864 to take command of all federal armies. He promoted Grant to the rank of lieutenant general and named him general-in-chief of the U.S. Army, creating unity of command for all Union field forces. When Grant arrived in Washington, he found Major General George G. Meade's Army of the Potomac facing Lee's Army of Northern Virginia across the Rappahannock and Rapidan Rivers, from Fredericksburg to Culpeper, Virginia. In addition to this main area of operations was Virginia's Shenandoah Valley, a critical region for both sides west of the Blue Ridge Mountains. The Shenandoah Valley geography gave the Shenandoah Valley, or simply the valley, a unique strategic role in the Civil War. The valley extends for about 160 miles through western Virginia and into West Virginia, between the Blue Ridge Mountains on the east and the Allegheny Mountains on the west. The northern, or lower end of the valley, terminates in West Virginia at the Potomac River. At approximately midpoint, Massanutten Mountain divides the valley lengthwise for about 65 miles into two narrow parallel valleys. The West Valley retains the name Shenandoah Valley, while the East Valley is usually called the Luray Valley. Since the valley offered an invading rebel force a covered approach to Washington, Baltimore, and other northern cities, Lincoln and his generals watched for Confederate activities in the Shenandoah and the threat they might pose to the U.S. Capitol. In fact, Lee's two invasions of the North in 1862 and 1863 had used this route. In the 1860s, the valley had a relatively well-developed road and rail network. The Valley Pike, the state's only hard-packed rock or macadamized road, ran the length of the valley. The Shenandoah Valley also had several functioning railroads and a nearby canal. The Union-controlled Baltimore and Ohio, or B&O Railroad, ran along the banks of the Potomac River at the north end of the valley, along with the parallel Chesapeake and Ohio, or C&O Canal. Together, the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad and the C&O Canal were the backbone of the main federal supply line from the Midwest. Their protection was a top priority for Lincoln. Most agricultural supplies, textile goods, and raw materials bound for the Eastern Confederacy came by train. The Virginia Central Railroad's tracks connected Richmond to the Shenandoah Valley and on to Covington in the Allegheny Mountains. Another railroad, The Virginia and Tennessee ran northeast from Tennessee into southwestern Virginia, crossed the New River on a massive wooden bridge, 
and continued east to Lynchburg and Richmond. The Virginia and Tennessee trains went as far south as Atlanta, linking Richmond with the western Confederate states. A section of the Orange and Alexandria Railroad on the eastern slope of the Blue Ridge Mountains connected Lynchburg and Charlottesville. The combination of a developed transportation network, agricultural productivity, the presence of iron, lead, and salt mines, and its usefulness as an easy south-north avenue to both Washington and Richmond made the valley and southwest Virginia a valuable asset for the Confederacy to protect and the Union to control. <music>